ಬಟ್ ಇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣೇಶ್ವರ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಗಂಗಾ ರಿವರ್ ಸೊ ಮದರ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಮದರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಜಸ್ ಶಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಎ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ ಅಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ವೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಕನ್ಫರ್ಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಮನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಇ ವೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಹೃದಯ ಹೃದಯ ರಾಮ ಈಸ್ ವ ಈಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಈಸ್ ವ ಬರ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಬಟ್ ಇವನ್ ದೋ ಹಿ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ವ್ಡ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟು ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇವನ್ ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ ಈಸ್ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ರಿಪ್ಲೈ ಸಿ ಹೃದಯ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಮದರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಮೈ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ವಿಟ್ನಿ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೃದಯ ರಾಮ ಸೋ ವಿತ್ ಜಾಯ್ ಫುಲ್ ಈ ಸೈಡ್ ಓ ಮಾಮಾ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಶಾಕ್ಡ್ ಓ ಕಮ್ ಸಿ ಆಲ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಸಾ ಆಲ್ ದ ವುಮೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಮದರ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಸಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಕಮ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ಐ ಸಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ವುಮೆನ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಮದರ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ವಾಸ್ ಶಾಕ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ವರೀಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ as soon if anything something happens something agony comes to him straight away we will go to shira holy divine mother straight away went to divine mother kali dakshineshwar kali mandir before he board before bahutharani mother what is this you are making me worldly man then mother no no don't worry <coughs> you will doesn't mean that you will have you will have a child but not biological child he is not an ordinary child he will be spiritual child he will be your spiritual son so today we are discussing about the son of god so what is son of god how the son of god how this son of god concept how it came so just i was walking i was thinking <coughs> just you will just by walking you will think about see there are in christianity it is very much very much common consider jesus is son of god <coughs> but in our indian concept son of god it is not like semitic religion not like that our concept of son of god how it comes anybody can become son of children anybody it only it doesn't mean that only only, only specially born child not like that if you want to you have to elevate yourself for that level just for this for example we are all children of our biological parents <coughs> how we feel about our parents every day as soon as when you get up in the morning we don't see we don't verify your documents whether we will see oh this she is my mother she is, he is my father we don't verify all those things naturally it is always by instinctly instinctively we will understand that is she, she is my mother he is my father so similarly when these children of god how they feel i am the son of god i am children of this paramatma so he they have elevate themselves such a level and whatever they just they behave like how we behave with our own children so it's same similarly rakhal his his prime minister name is rakhal he used to call raja maharaj he used to behave just like that in front of shri ram krishna <coughs> before going to detail of about his life one incident took place how he behaved like shri ram krishna one day shri ram krishna asked rakhal to prepare beetle roll that pan to pan for, for me then rakhal simply refused ah, i will not move naturally we behave in front of suppose parents they say something else some give some work then we will refuse to work because we'll busy with some other army is busy with our playing we'll be suppose we'll go play for going for playing cricket immediately some mother will tell you go and go to purchase something no 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 we have to play you will try will run away similarly just like that rakhal he refused immediately nearby latu maharaj was the swami adbhutanand ji one another disciples of shri ramakrishna then immediately got angry latu what is this you are you are refusing to obey our guru then he got angry see you shouldn't obey whatever guru says you immediately should obey to perform 
then he did not go. He was in spite of that also, he did not do. Then Sri Ramakrishna asked, see who is the best disciple of amongst these two? Naturally, then all, maybe who person who obeys, he will be the best disciple. Then Sri Ramakrishna, no, Rakalis. Why? Because he, he completely, yes, accepted Sri Ramakrishna as my father, is my mother, everything. That is the relation, that is the meaning of son of God. So we have to become like that. So indirectly teaching, Rathamara, it doesn't, not that Rathamara is something below, not like that, how, see how you have to elevate yourself to that spiritual plane. That is how he is teaching. See, Sri Ramakrishna's way of teaching something unique. So why in the beginning I told, see, Sri Ramakrishna made Swamiji as a leader, and all the property, the kingdom of this spirituality, that ownership you given to Brahmananda Ji. Why? See, in the very nature, Sri Ramakrishna, when uh, Ram, if you see in the Brahmananda Ji, when Swami Brahmananda Ji came to Madras, see, we are so fortunate, we are sitting here, so Brahmananda Ji came here, he stayed here. When Swami Brahmananda Ji came, he stayed here. <coughs> Uh, somebody, one of the devotees of Madras, those, that time Madras devotees asked, does Maharaj give structure? Then Ramakrishna Anji, what is there in lecture? That uh, lecture can be given by anybody. By seeing itself is en- enough. Suppose if you have seen Brahm- Swami Brahmananda, if you have seen this Raja Maharaj, you are as good as you are seeing Sri Ramakrishna himself. In that sense, Sri Ramakrishna has visited this Madras matter. If I say, historically, physically, Sri Ramakrishna did not come, but he, he, he did come to Madras. That means how he came in the form of Brahmananda Ji. Because total feature of Sri Ramakrishna, exactly a replica of Sri Ramakrishna's feature, you will find in Swami Brahmananda's life. So this Brahman, Sri Ramakrishna having, having this vision, the another vision Sri Ramakrishna had. What is that vision? Near in the Ganges, fully blown lotus, the two boys were playing. Among them, the, the cowherd boys playing with Sri Krishna, joyfully. So in the, among the, the boys, the close companion of Sri Krishna was Rakhal. Rakhal means cowherd boy. Actually, literally meaning of Rakhal means cowherd boy. So, she, the Rakhal is Brahman Jiji. Sri Ramakrishna himself says, he was the, in previous incarnation, he was the companion of Sri Krishna. So, that it happened so, literally here. When uh, Marathi devotees were there, when Sri Brahman Ji came, then they saw, they worshipped him. When they came, they, they took Brahmananda Ji to their house and then all the ladies, they, they offered him um, fruit, flower, everything. They were doing worshipping. Immediately Brahmananda Ji went to deep Samadhi. They literally they worshipped him as Lord Krishna himself. So that mood he used to go. So this Brahmananda Ji was born in the year 1863, just eight days before Swamiji, eight days after Swamiji. Tuesday, 21st January, he was born to Rakhal Chandra Ghosh, Rakhal Chandra Ghosh born to Ananda Mohan Ghosh. His father name was Ananda Mohan Ghosh. His mother was Kailash Kamini. Mother is very much devoted to Sri Krishna. Because of so much of devotion towards Krishna, she named him as Rakhal. Rakhal means companion of Sri Krishna. Why did not put name that he could have directly, she could have named him as Krishna Krishna. Why? We don't know. These are all divine wish. We don't, we don't understand because already Sri Krishna is born. Sri Ram Krishna. So how can double time Sri Krishna will be born? <laughs> that logic. We, we may apply for this. Of course, it is my interpretation. It's not, it's not there. But I'm telling you. No, she was so much devoted to Sri Krishna, she could have named him as Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna is some Krishna Gosh, Krishna Chandra Gosh. 
you could have she could have named it but why she has named rakhal is a cowherd boy of course cowherd was shri krishna so cowherd also same thing but he here in the actual literary meaning is a companion of shri krishna whatever it may be all right the kailash kamini mother after giving four children she gave birth to four quadruped children immediately giving birth she died so this anand mohan kosh rakhal chandra kosh father anand mohan kosh he married second he had he, uh, he married to another hemangini so hemangini said so this hemangini said uh, she was also very good, very devoted but usually stepmother and generally stepmother attitude will be that but she was not like that she took care of rakhal more than their her own children so that was his brief history his background so then slowly then he studied he studied he took birth in chikra kulingram no prem our bada maharaj is there river is there in chikra kulingram where birthplace of swami brahmanand ji 60 miles from calcutta so that small village there he was born all his schooling preliminary schooling happened in shikragulum later on for higher studies his father he brought him to calcutta so when he came to calcutta from the very childhood he was always inclined to spirituality spiritual minded person so always even keep himself aloof and always meditate meditate mode and thinking doing jap all such very soft person by nature he was very soft and he joined his college and then there he got friendship with narendra narendra nath narendra nath is a swami ji so both of them are very close friends but because of narendra's influence because narendra always he already he was a member of bhama samaj and narendra also influenced him you also come and join we gave him membership and his mood is different narendra so they both of them started going to bhama samaj slowly then slowly they came to then he was always in meditative mood then his father noticed this fellow is not giving any part giving attention to his studies uh, somehow you have to divert him from spirituality suppose you want to divert someone from spirituality for giving marriage that is that was the tendency those days so how to uh, remove the madness give marriage so after giving taking well you will be in different different madness you will go to another different madness that is different <laughs> but so how to remove this madness give him marriage so then same thing he was married also so among few disciples direct disciples few of the swami monks direct disciples were married one is brahmananda ji ramapurush maharaj advaitananda ji that's all so he was married wo so has the how divine intention how it happens it very interesting so he gave marriage who is he who is she vishweshwari devi vishweshwari mitra he was sister of manmohan mitra he was a close devoted disciple of shri ram krishna he used to regularly used to visit uh, dakshineshwar so this manmohan mitra himself <coughs> Uh, his wife, his sister's brother himself took him to Sri Ram Krishna. See how that get connection. He wanted to get a, remove him that madness of spirituality. His father, but he himself <laughs> arranged to more and more, more and more inclined to inclination towards spirituality. See somehow if you try to suppress, it will come in force. always it is like that the nature like this only suppose if we try to suppress something it will come in double the rate so he here his father wanted to suppress his spiritual inclination spiritual mood by for that he gave marriage that the very same man made him to renounce of course that vishweshwari the mitra wife was very good very virtuous lady all those things then vishweshwari he was always even though he had a child also then afterwards more and more he was feeling uncomfortable he was all so see when, when spirituality increases inside burning renunciation is comes 
you cannot bear to remain in the worldly life so more you have started visiting dakshineshwar very often so somehow his father got angry and took him and locked him inside the house then what to do now at that time his father anand mohan mit anand mohan ghosh he was uh, um, so he was in he was dealing with some case was going on then so the uh, petition some case was going on he was busy with so many files so seeing particular time uh, so he found out the best moment he, he escaped from his house and ran away to dakshineshwar then his father understood yes he must have gone to dakshineshwar so all the way you know, then what happened it is see very interesting when he left uh, his house and went came to dakshineshwar as soon as he left the problem it was which was going on about his case it was solved then all, somehow if the case was solved he came to take him to his home anand mohan ghosh came to dakshineshwar then immediately when he saw his father he tried he tried to hide himself behind shri ramkrishna then shri ramkrishna no 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 don't do like this you face it see father parents are just like living gods see shri ramkrishna see how this is how the teaching should be there you know, just because your, your parents are against your your path do you should hate him not like that it will not be spirituality if you don't give respect to your parents you cannot be spiritual person the basic things see every inch by inch every minute thing shri ram krishna how he teaches that is a great teacher that is why he is considered as great master so shri ram krishna said no go and do pranam take blessing their blessings are very necessary without their blessings how can you progress in spiritual life so shri ram krishna advised him so and how but anand mohan was convinced and then allowed him to stay with shri ram krishna and slowly he started living with shri ram krishna and then his relationship it just not like that just now i told is a relationship not like you only disciple guru and disciple their relationship is like just like mother and child so that was their relationship but see here he was close friend of narendra nath he he used to quite often he used to visit brahma samaj but he used to visit shri ramakrishna also because his mood was formless god rakhal was always devotion type devotion type devotion with form swami ji also had devotion formless with attributes see he was a member of brahma samaj since before swami ji becoming out and out vedantin before coming to shri ramakrishna he was a brahma samaj member and he was he, he was believer of formless god with attributes so formless god with attributes is a concept of semitic religion abrahamic religion that is their concept so brahma samaj influenced by this this uh, semitic religion abrahamic religion mainly christianity that's so they they try brahma samaj try to christianize hinduism that is the idea so when so, raja maharaj rakhal used to go visit visit dakshineshwar used to do he was going down to divine mother he scolded he rebuked what you fellow you are taken membership brahma samaj and you going and going on what it is nonsense swami ji see whatever believes he was very strong then immediately shri ram krishna had to interfere no 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 don't do this don't intimidate don't intimidate for his path let him have his own then he shri ram krishna how he teaches he told narayan don't do this each one has got own path freedom should be there spirituality the basic thing in spirituality is freedom because you are trying for freedom dharma artha kama moksha moksha means what moksha means freedom without having freedom in spirituality where is the question of god relation god relation means freedom only moksha only the very basic thing in the beginning you have to be you start with freedom only you don't get freedom just suddenly like this you have to be free bringing itself going towards freedom you have to start with freedom only free of thinking free thinking free thought and free analysis 
ಅದೇ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಯುದ್ಧರೇದಾತ್ಮನಾತ್ಮಾನ ಆತ್ಮಾನವ ಸಾಧೇತ್ ಇನ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಜು ಯೋ ಟು ಉದ್ಧ ಯೋ ಟು ಕೇರ್ ಯೋ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಯೋ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಜ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಟು ನರೇನ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟು ಇನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆರ್ಕ್ಯೂ ಎಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಗೀವ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಟು ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಗೋ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಪಾತ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸನಾತನ ಧರ್ಮ ಅವರ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಚಾರ್ವಾಕಸ್ ಯಾವ ಜೀವಂ ಸುಖಂ ಜೀವನ್ ವೃಣ್ ಕೃತ್ವ ಘೃತಂ ಪಿಬೇತ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಚಾರ್ವಾಕ ಫಿಲಾಸಫಿ ಸೊ ವೈ ಈವನ್ ದ ದೋಸ್ ಎಥೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗಿವನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದಿಮ್ ಡೋ ಲೆಟ್ ದಿಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೋ ಸಚ್ ಎ ವಾಸ್ಟ್ ಹೀ ಅಕಾಮಿಡ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಈ ಅಲೋಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ವೈ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ ಕೇಶವ್ ಚಂದ್ರ ಸೆನ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಈಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಲ್ ಈವನ್ ಮಹೇಂದ್ರನಾಥ್ ಸರ್ಕಾರ್ the great doctor he used to come to shiram krishna he was out and out atheist he did not believe shiram krishna's highest by high spiritual mood samadhi all those things but somebody asked when when he came to shiram krishna somebody asked see you don't believe in god you don't believe in all this uh, spiritual attainments spiritual experiences why do you come to shiram krishna then what he said a beautiful thing they i i know i yes i don't believe all these things but but i cannot avoid not to come here because i love him i don't i never seen any such a person is a ocean of love that is the greatness of shiram when the ocean of love is there that is god that is the freedom that is the moksha so that ocean of love you will find shri ram krishna that is how all these people young boys rakhal narend all other disciples why they are attracted they are all narend swami ji he is such a brilliant person a very uh, highly intelligent intellectual so much he has read but how he got attracted to shri ram krishna very very difficult to defeat him in any subject in argument such a brilliant swami ji completely melted himself in before shri ram krishna because shri ram krishna's knowledge was not out of books it is out of own experience he is avatar so holy shri ram krishna he came to shri ram krishna and got attracted and one day see he was once you come to shri ram krishna you, you, when you have accepted shri ram krishna as his father and shri ram krishna accepted him as his son he naturally will fight so one day prakal fought with him. shri ram krishna what for no you are you are not giving any experience spiritual experience give me no wait wait don't worry then one day got so much angry i will go away from this she just start running away then he, as soon as he came to up to the gate after that he could not could not go could not put another step see how you will go you go shri ram krishna you will go you cannot go because one you may fight in house also you will fight with your parents some the no i will give my leave house or go away after after some time when you get hungry you will come back <laughs> so similar the spiritual hunger is there he knew that so rakhan knew that that only that spiritual hunger can be quenched only by shri ramakrishna my guru my father that he knew so he could not go put further step he came back so that is how so many different experience afterwards in spite of that also he had no one then is to get disturbed shri ram rakhan then shri ramakrishna said don't worry spiritual life is not so easy yes we all understand see all these things it is as if it is they are giving teaching to rakhal teaching to manan ji not like that every one of us so shri ramakrishna so it, see spirituality is not very easy don't worry come here because whenever he used to meditate he was not able to meditate sometimes his mind used to go to his house because he already married he had a son so shri ramakrishna understood this then slowly shri ramakrishna called him and called him and asked him to stretch your tongue after stretching his tongue he wrote something he wrote on his tongue then onwards he never had any such problem 
So it's slowly Sri Ram Rakhal started experiencing spiritual moods, and afterwards he could not stay in the house in family. He completely came back to Sri Ram Krishna. He permanently stayed, and then some uh, this Vishwesh Devi, his wife, his wife's um, uh, mother and mother-in-law of Rakhal. See, your son-in-law is going to become monk, sannyasi. What? What is your opinion? All right. What is there? My son-in-law becomes monk. If something is going to great, becoming great, I don't have any objection. See, that is the greatness. See, everything is pre-planned here. See, when you are sincere, when sincerity is there in spirituality, any time, any problems, whatever may be the problem, it will be solved by divine power, by divine wish, divine will. That we, have, but whether I have a sincerity, that sincerity is there. That we have to check it ourselves. And when we check ourselves, whatever may be the problem, all those problems will be solved. We need not worry at all. What will happen? How, how it will be? We have seen many such cases in our altar. So many monks are joining. They will initially they will have to face so much of problems from parents. But afterwards, slowly, how they get convinced? We don't understand how the parents they get convinced because that when sincerity is there. The automatically, those people also get convinced because the power of divine we don't understand. But we oh whether they will when we have doubt, the person who is perceiver has got doubt, then it will be definitely there will be a problem. When perceiver doesn't have any yes, whatever it may be, God will take care. That will is there, that confidence is there, that belief is that faith is there. All those problems will be solved without any difficulty. How Swami Ji could succeed in West? So much of trouble he faced because he had tremendous confidence. Tremendous, yes, he had tremendous faith. My Guru will protect me. See, when Swami Ji was there in America, Detroit, he was poisoned in the coffee. When when coffee was given, it was poison. Then he was about to take Swami Ji. Then immediately Sri Ram appeared before him. Rain, don't take, don't touch it. How he said? Because that confidence is there, God will protect. If that sincere is there, definitely God will come right time and will lift lift you up from that problem. So similarly, here Rakhal, he completely free from that all those troubles, and he came. And later, after Sri Ramakrishna's Maha Samadhi, he took sannyasa, as became Swami Brahmananda. Generally. Swami Brahmananda, but in our ash, in the order, usually we call Raja Maharaj. Swami Swami Ji Vivekananda is Swami Ji means Swami Vivekananda. Maharaj means Raja Maharaj. Maharaj means Swami Brahmananda. That is normal general term here. As soon as Maharaj means that is Raja Maharaj only. Swami Ji means Swami Vivekananda. So we became always we became habit. Call Maharaj means immediately they will understand. Oh, Maharaj means Raja Maharaj. So like that. So when after Sri Ram Krishna left his body, and they all did severe austerity, the sadhana. See why after 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 staying with so Sri Ram Krishna, living with he is a son of God. Why all the sadhanas? See whatever it may be, even person has got wealth. He inherited all properties of his father, four fathers. But if you want to to save, if you want to protect your wealth, but you have to do something. Your effort also should be there. Make it your own. See, you may inherit our four fathers' property, but if you keep, if you save, if you save all those property, you have to do something else. You have to work for that. Either invest something and rotate. That investment, like that. Similarly, in his spirituality also, even though he inherited all the spiritual attainments from Sri Ramakrishna, but all this they wait it is sadhana because they they have to make it their own. When Swami Bhuteshananda ji, it's a very wonderful uh, incident happened. When Swami Bhuteshananda, twelfth president of our order, so he was dis- he was initiated by Swami Brahma Sharadananda ji. Sharadananda ji is one of the another disciples of Sri Ramakrishna. He was the Uh, general secretary, first general secretary of Ram Krishna Mission. So he went, when he went there for blessings after initiation, 
then he went and asked blessings shardanj maharaj please bless me for spiritual attainment i should get spiritual attainment by my own effort he asked he did not ask just bless me i so that i will get brahmagnan so that i will get have vision of god he did not ask like that i ought to earn please bless me like that let me do sadhana and attain by my own effort and i should own this spiritual attainment spiritual treasure that was the that was his, the this one boon he asked so shardanj blessed him he was a great soul he was in our order bhuteshwar he was a very highly great soul elevated spiritually high so similarly all this directly say prashasti passing over shiram krishna did a lot of hostilities sadhana all those things of course brahmanand ji just like shiram krishna now and then is to go into deep samadhi now and then is to go and then one one day what happened see when a conversation between m and rakhal was going on he said see what to do um here nothing is happening something like that naren for that even m was asking m was telling then rakhal the narendra the raja maharaj brahman ji told see narendra put very well last night he was telling when he said it is applies to he is telling about women and men it is applies to women also it applies to men also the woman exists for a man as long as he has lust free from lust one sees no difference between man and woman see this difference comes when is man and woman when that difference comes when as long as a man as a woman as a has got lust that difference comes that's this is spiritual that is the greatest teaching see they may as long as lust is there the difference as otherwise they would equality they are nowadays that they talking about equality women equality or everything equality that is not equality not in terms of something what everyone should not like that see how that equality can be bring can be brought here how it can bring equality among men and women can be brought here we are beautifully has put because shri ram krishna himself shown like this so we remove that lust remove that bad ideas impurities then there will not be any difference at all so as long as that lust is there as long as the impurity is there then only we see differences because of impurity we see this world maya we explain this is the right this is the real my body com- body mind com- complex how it comes as long as your identification with this body as long as with this identity with the desires till then till you will see this difference the dualistic world once you remove that all those impurities all those idea of lust impurity then there no be difference that way shri ram krishna see no one used to when those women used to go to shri ram krishna they never used to feel it will shy because no there's no impurity that is spirituality that is moksha what is freedom freedom free from lust free from desires free from all sorts of impurities that is moksha let me completely remove that identification so then so narayan has put and so then mem has got some confidence yes that is true see how he used to guide them to disciples how among themselves see, that is how the the greatness of living with holy company so why the our upanishad says and then our um, shankara says shri ramakrishna now and every, every every often he says in gospel if you read holy company holy company why because the may uh, go on making holy company your mind will become completely purified all sorts of impurities will go so that is what shri ram the, the one incident took place one day one businessman very highly rich man came to belmut he stayed for a few days then after he was very rich person then shri ram then uh, that rich man we were which felt very so happy and then came to some premanand ji babu ram maharaj another disciples of shri ram krishna 
Now I'm very much by living with holy company. I got burning renunciation. So I have got I am very much benefited. I want to donate all my uh, assets, all my property to ashrama to build it. Then so Babu Ramesh became very emotional, very excited. So such a living with holy company, so being with great sadhus, I got so much impressed. My mind became so pure. I became holy. I want to donate everything. Then the same thing he went and reported to Shri Swami Brahma Nandi Ji. Raja Maharaj was there. Maharaj, this gentleman is telling, I want to donate everything. And Shri Ram Brahma Nandi Ji very beautifully has put. See, by living with holy company, he got renunciation. By accepting and living, be taking, living so long, he stayed with us. By accepting his property, shall we move towards? Shall we move to world? He asked. So leave this. Then finally, it was, was not accepted. See why? That, then you may ask. Then how to run the ashrama? When Sri Brahmanji has told, those living with those who give donation, they will be get renunciation. They will become. They will become pure. And then we are accepting donation. How? What will happen to us? How to run the ashrama? That is for that beautifully this framework Swami Ji gave. That is why in Ram Krishna Mission, no sadhus will have any personal assets. You cannot before joining, before as soon as when you join and as soon as you join, you go to training center. First, they have to you have to give declaration. What is the declaration? I will not. I don't have any assets. I don't have any debts. All those declarations you have to give. You should not. We should not have any personal property in our name. Whatever donation people give, it will go to Ram Krishna Mission. Ram Krishna Mission. Who is Ram Krishna Mission? Sri Ram Krishna himself. So no personal assets. So such a way made. So here, how we have to work here? See, in the Ram Krishna Mission. We have to do so many works, uh, seva, karya, the service work going on. Service activities are going on. How to manage all these things? When Ram Chandra is not accepting donation. So for that, so you, for she, Swami Ji made such a beautiful arnation, wonderful arnation, so that no one, not a single individual, can claim this is mine. So such a ecosystem he has built. Today we are here. Tomorrow, some even letter comes or phone call comes, email comes. Oh, you are transferred. You have to leave everything and go. So such a beautiful ecosystem created by Swami Ji himself. So. See here, you see how after that, afterwards, what happened? Swami Ji went to America. He came back after as soon as he came back, Swami Ji went and did Rastam Pranam to Raja Maharaj. Actually, Swami Ji himself is elder, elder to Raja Maharaj. What he said, Guru Vat Guru Putreshu. So Guru son should be considered as Guru himself. Because Sri Ram Krishna accepted him as his son, even though he is spiritual, he is Manasa Putra. Then immediately, Raja Maharaj also did again. He did pranam to Sir Narendra. Jesta Bata Krutha Pita Sama. Jesta Bata Pita Sama. Raja Maharaj also did pranam to Swami Ji. Jesta Bata Pita Sama. The elder brother should be considered as a father himself. Then afterwards, what he did? So both of them greeted themselves, greeted each other. Then Swami Ji, whatever he collected money, donation from America, just took him and handed over to Raja Maharaj. Whole thing. My work is over. I am completely relieved. He said. See nothing. He kept himself. Why Sri Ram Krishna selected Raja Maharaj here? He will be see in beginning itself when he was before. Ram Krishna Mission starting in Dakshineshwar. Sri Ram Krishna said, "Raja, this Rakhal has got the nature of king." He said. So that that statement only Swami Ji could understand. Immediately caught that statement. Then when Ram Krishna Mission was established, so Swami Ji, what he did, Raja will be the president of the order. He was the first president of Ram Krishna order. Why? Because he had common sense. 
how to utilize money how much it should be utilized all those things very because calm by nature he was very calm and quiet and then very good common sense swami ji was very emotional because he is a shiva you see he shiva means everything bola shankara ji say whatever you give everything you will give he will not what will happen even pasmasar also he will going to kill you also he will, will not bother like that swami ji also but swami raja maharaj is very very intelligent very common sense how to utilize how to manage because that is the power that kingness was there so that is why swami ji after establishing ramakrishna mission he made raja maharaj as president and then swami raja maharaj started training how to train how to train brahmacharis so his way of training is very unique same shri ram how he used to train ah, like that only then he will ask brahmacharis monks young monks and brahmacharis in even now also in belmont what they have to do do have to peel potato potatoes so you ask them to all you sit together and peel potato then after peeling the raja mari rubber potato how how nicely you thought wasting see some peeling is it's very unique sometimes while peeling will peel will peel even fresh also so exact one sudhir maharaj shuddhanand ji he nicely peeled yes he has peeled nicely i think he is doing pro- meditation properly meditation properly yes sir see if you are good meditative meditative attitude meditative mood if you are good meditated i am regularly i am doing meditation means if somebody says just observe how he works yoga karma so koshalam buddhi yukta jahateha ve sukata dushkate tasmad yoga yachase yoga karma so koshalam krishna says in bhagavad gita buddhi yukta jahateha person who you by using intelligence and then works efficiently that is called yoga shri krishna says same thing raja maharaj how that brahmachari or sadhu is doing private meditating or correctly or not you should observe by observing their work so the meditation regularly doing meditation means that we are properly doing meditation means whether you are able to do work properly in your office or in kitchen or in office or in school wherever may be that is how they used to teach your spiritual practice should reflect in your life that is what brahma and jesus tell you strongly doing so, so much of work people are doing service so full of activities want to you have to balance with meditation and japa dhyana all those things so likely it is not only for sadhus it is for householders also regularly you have to get up in the morning something you have to meditate japa do take your many of your taken mantra diksha regular do meditate japa meditation then automatically your work will be perfect even in spite even though there is without problems there no work will be done problems will be there but we will be able to face this problem intelligently that is what brahman ji is telling so another thing so brahman ji travel many places he came to south also came to madras one day how um, on um, sadhu he was asking swami vasudevan he, he reminiscences of swami vasudevan and brahman ji disciple how to uh, meditate meditate regarding meditation only how to meditate brahman ji said see first what you do suppose for example a, a pot is there a pot full of a jug is there full of water is there water is there in in glass water so suppose if you pour that water inside the what is there in the in the glass you pour that water what is there you feel what we say empty it actually is not empty space is there Sp- space is there no that, that uh, air is there space is there so then we ask question so what is that water is it only glass material it's a glass material so when water was there there was no space question comes there was no space yes it was there so always even when water was there also space is there when remove that water also space is there 
the similarly remove all the remove that mind from inside so when mind is there also consciousness is there and remove all the other thoughts then even this consciousness is there so first what you when you when you do meditation you remove all other thoughts empty that mind empty that mind then we will enjoy the meditation it's a beautiful air place that is how he is teaching so once so swami ji came from raja maharaj so that old temple is there we have where that old temple that was foundation and inaugurated by swami ramanand ji and the now our periwar staying very very, very same room swami ramanand ji stayed in that room so here he had many visions raja maharaj and once what happened see he is teaching i told you before he his way of blessing people is different unique one day one young man he came to raja maharaj he was very much obsessed with one lady young lady and he could not forget him forget her but he was but he was um, not able to go to her at the same time he is not able to give up give her up then with so much of agitation he came to raja maharaj then he expressed his all agony before raja maharaj then raja maharaj told all right you bring her portrait bring her portrait her photo then okay he went away after many days he came and gave by, by the time raja maharaj went somewhere outside then shashi maharaj was there Ram, ramakrishna anand ji then he brought that photo please give this photo to Ra, raja maharaj then rashashi maharaj thought what is this giving such a photo to mother raja maharaj see anybody gives the like that photo suppose somebody gives any god's photo some uh, rama krishna anjaniya those photos people it is something understandable giving that such a lady questionable character lady photo why he should be given then he kept somewhere he threw away somewhere else then many days uh, raja maharaj then he was after uh, few days that boy wait that boy did not come then after sir after some days he came maharaj wow, what to do my gave photo of still my session is not gone i am still i am suffering then i asked you to bring photo where is that photo now i gave already that day i came i came and gave hand over to who whom whom you gave to whom you gave he to pointed out to shashi maharaj raja maharaj shashi maharaj and ramakrishna ji then raja maharaj called shashi maharaj shashi did he, did he bring that photo yes maharaj i i thought that why how to give your such a great soul giving such type of photo then came very grave raja maharaj came angry why well, then raja maharaj told shashi this much only you understood me said then sorry then you did shastram pranam please pardon me i did not understand you properly please pardon me then he brought that photo somewhere it was there lying he brought that photo and took that photo what raja maharaj did you took that photo you put his autograph on that he is signed on that photograph take this photo how what is that reason behind then he took that boy that boy took that photograph and went back afterwards completely free from that the obsession about that girl what lady completely gone because whenever he used to see that photo then he used to see raja maharaj handwriting raja maharaj autograph then completely whole mind completely purified he removed all those thought about that girl completely vanished that is the power of this there is a great spiritual great soul it be like this only that was the greatness same the shri ramakrishna used to do like this only how he transformed this girish chandra gosh then what he said he give give him power of attorney because he was see girish chandra gosh he knew he himself told if shri ramakrishna comes if if she if i if i had known that shri ramakrishna would come i would have committed much more sins he said then that man 
when he came to Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Ramakrishna advised him to do Japa morning, evening. No, no, I can't. I cannot practice Japa meditation. All right, you give me power of attorney. But whatever you do, even if you drink, you offer it to me. How can he offer the such a thing to Sri Ramakrishna? He is a, he is a purified, purity man, personified, absolute purity. So how can I offer? Then completely left. He completely transformed. That is such a great sinner became a great saint. Sri Vishnu is not an ordinary person. What was he? Later on he became a great saint. That is the power of holy company. Living with great souls that will transform us. So like that he, he has so many, many incidents are there. It is no time. We don't have some, sufficient time to express so many things. Full of so many miracles in Raja Maharaj's life. Many miracles. But there are certain few interesting things also happen. You see, Raja Maharaj, Brahmanji never gave lectures. Because his life itself is a lecture. So leave, that is why Ramakrishna and the even devotee asked, does Maharaj give lecture? No, no. Just seeing him, seeing him, seeing him itself is sufficient. Whole lecture will be given to you. Just having darshan of Raja Maharaj is sufficient that your life will transform. So one day what happened when Raja Maharaj came to south, he stayed in Madras. From here he went to Bangalore. So in Bangalore Ashram was supposed to be inaugurated. So he went there. Shashi Maharaj also went there. And during inauguration, he was the main president. He has to address. Raja Maharaj was asked to give lecture. Address. So what they did, how they request, Maharaj, please address the audience. And Raja Maharaj got up and said, I am Swami Brahmananda, President Ramakrishna Mat, Haura. And he said, and he said, <laughs> Maharaj, what is this? You are asked to give, um, asked you to address, address, just you are giving address. And you are only asked, you ask, give, give, please address your, uh, address the audience. That's why I told my address. <laughs> So that is such a very such a interesting things used to happen like this. So Raja Maharaj, many incidents like this. One more incident also happened in Bhuvaneshwar. It is not recorded in any book, but I heard it from some senior monks. Once one happened, it was after this incident, I will conclude this like my lecture. When Raja Maharaj is, he was the instrumental for Bhuvaneshwar Ashrama, then every now and then he used to go to Bhuvaneshwar Ashrama. See, in Bhuvaneshwar Ashrama, one judge used to come regularly. So, a retired judge, but he always used to criticize all the monks and brahmacharis there. What is you fellows, what you are doing, you don't know work like this, go on criticizing. Daily you will come, but you will, uh, will criticize. Then one day, uh, they wrote, uh, because they cannot go against that judge, because the high court judge, something, what will happen, the fear also will be there. Then he, they wrote to Raja Maharaj. Then Raja Maharaj, oh, wait, please wait. So I will, I'm coming. He came. After coming, then uh, there are the Raja Maharaj, president of the ashram, is coming with him to all the brahmacharis, others will be very busy to taking care of him. Then what happened? Then uh, the other busy, the judge came. Why you are so busy today? Why so much? No, our Maharaj, President Maharaj, President Maharaj, oh, your people have got leader also. Oh, you have got gang leader. He addressed like this. Then he, they took him to Raja Maharaj, President Maharaj, Raka Brahmanji. Oh, you are the, directly he went and asked, oh, you are the leader of these people. Then he asked, yes. Then Raja Maharaj just smiled and called him. Then all other went. Then he slowly asked him to sit. Oh, go on and conversing with him. Then Raja Maharaj asked, Can you play cards? Then he was surprised. What? Sadhu playing cards? Like this. Then, all right. Okay, all right. I'm, how to, somehow I can spend with, spend my time with you. Okay, both three, four days, go on. Every day will come, play with cards with him. Cards with him. Then afterwards, then after three, four days, Maharaj just left. And next day also came. He thought that Maharaj will be there to can play cards. Then, where is your leader? He called. No, he left. Maharaj has left already. Helmet. Then he was surprised. What? 
left he gone and as soon as he had uttering like this he collapsed and died there immediately died that man that judge then they could not understand then took him to hospital then declared dead and then then they wrote maraj he came asking about you maraj as soon as you i heard that he, when he heard that you are gone away then he, he said oh you take he has gone he had taken away everything and he died like this then what raja mar wrote back yes by playing cards i took away all his sins raja mar by playing cards i took away, took away all his sins he said that is how that is the greatest of we don't understand the externally they need not give any lectures need not give any upadeshas just their presence will make elevate will make us elevated so this how the so many incidents are there this no we don't have sufficient time let us close here so let us pray to shri ram krishna mother swami ji and brahmanand ji so that we will also be progressed in spiritual life